my last day in Tuhoi country. I'm with Rangi at the Rarorewa Marae for the last of four days of festivities marking the anniversary of the police raids. This event has been organised by a man who to many of us is the face of Tuhoi, Tama Iti. Tame has been a lifelong activist for Tuhoi causes, but he denies the recent terrorism and gun charges. What I want to know is, what would make him happy? A few years ago, you were, you were big on, on a separate Tuhoi nation. Is that still the case? Well, I think we, we want a recognition of the Tuhoi nation. Uh, it's something that always been here. Do you mean like, like the EU, where you've got sort of... It's a separate nation, but the same currency and the same... Yeah, yeah, open so we've got to work out how, how, yeah. how can they be practical and workable. You know, as, as I suppose that you, they are places in England, you've got Scotland and Ireland. Hmm. I'm not too sure what types of an agreement there was between the British... Any and the ragged Irish. agreement, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But they, they you know, and it's, to look at something that is workable. You know, and uh, still the Irish ought to be respected and also recognised as an iwi. So it's a Scottish uh, iwi, you know, but we, we want uh, exactly the same recognition of that. I think the government are keen to talk to us, uh, eye to eye contact, to look at what this Tuhoi nation is going to look like. So are you, are, you, are you the spokesman for Tuhoi or...? Well, not really. Uh, I am... Well, I, I do speak for a certain part of Tuhoi. And uh, in my rightful place, uh, I, I speak for. You said the rightful or rifle? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hear that, did they? Uh, no, we're not under oh, no, surve no, no. I, They're not under surveillance. No, but you have. You maybe, may, maybe you are. Then now you're talking to me. Mm. Think about undercover cop. Mm. Really? Do you really think that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when it comes to certain matters, you get really fired up. There's been a bit of snotting here and there. There's been a bearing of the buttock. There's been a shooting of the flag. In fact, those are very quite a common uh, practice that it always had been around for the last thousand years. Uh, TV one that wasn't around when when, the, when all of that was invented. Um, so they only just been exposed to what's you the pun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, well, well, what you kind of say? What the hell did that come? It's not a tummy eating. It's, it's uh, quite a common thing around uh, on the Ambarai. So there's so there's people watching this on the TV One documentary, you know, that we that we're making. They're going, bloody savage! Look at him. Yeah, well, this show their ignorance today. I wanted to know what it was that's made Tummy so passionate about mana motahake or self determination for Tuhoi. After all, it's meant he's lived his whole life under the public spotlight as an outsider, spurned and reviled by most of society. How much of what you're about is Tuhoi, or is everything you're about Tuhoi? It's, it's a way of life. I know my hapu and my whanau and my ibu. So, you know your uh, culture? Well, I know who I am. Yeah. Mm. See, do you, think, do you think that it's there? Do you? Well, I'd like to. I'd like to know, I'd like to feel, I'd like to feel as, to, to have as much as, as you've got, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, you see, contemplates there. You know? No, uh, yeah, I, I think the uh, um, you know, most important thing is the uh, how do you feel here? Yeah. How's the soul? Soul's feeling good. We had a conversation a few years ago. Remember when I was saying that, you know, we we're talking about Maori sovereignty and the Teraranga yeah. Teratanga movement and all that sort of stuff. And I said, I asked you, you know, where would where would I go? What would I do? Well, you can peel a potato. Yes. Like so me, <laughs> and yeah. I'll, I will peel the other potato. Yeah. So if two people are peeling potatoes together, it's OK. Potatoes get done twice as fast. Yes, and uh, working collectively. So the idea is that if you, work, uh, if you peel the other potato, then we're working together, peeling together. So we need to know where we're going to put the, the scraps to. That's an appealing notion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think Tino Tino Ranga Tira Tana Mana Mutake is about that. It's not about uh, you go over there and I'll come over here. So when I say, where do you fit in there? You fit in any part of that. Well, there's a lot of white New Zealanders who, through no fault of their own, I don't think, um, no, no, don't, no. don't know where to start, you know, to sort of, to, sort of to, to, to get to know the, the, the indigenous people of this country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's a, what, what's a, you know, Well, th they, they need to dismantle their fence in front of them. They need to bring the fence down to about a bit low my height. I'm only a little short as well. So I'm five foot nothing. 
so you need to bring it down so so they can Just see me. So we can see, see one another. Look at their sea. They'll see the, the painted face. Yeah, 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 but, but they, they see a human being. Never to be fooled by the cover of a book. Mm. And so uh, never make judgment by the looks. I'm not sure I want our nation splintering into separate sovereign states, but I would like a bit of what Tommy seems to have, a deep knowing and a sense of belonging to this land. Whilst I'm still trying to find my feet, my culture, my place in this country, I found Tuhoi to be many things. Yeah, right. They're suspicious of outsiders, but if you'd had your plants patented by French scientists, your people withered to less than a thousand at the turn of the century, your language banned and your land confiscated, you might be a bit fed up with outsiders too. So like it. <laughs> I found Tuhoi to be immensely proud people. Whilst I'm not sure I agree with the notion of being allowed in, it was a privilege to spend time with the people who treated me with courtesy, <laughs> grace and honesty. Nice one, Tuhoi, nice one, I think. Without sucking up, nice one.